read that again. So this is a message from uh, the container manager that we just got. Hi Oliver, we tried to release your cargo. Unfortunately, however, the release from CMA CGM has not yet occurred in the system. Shipping company, man. Good morning, Robson. It's Oliver. How are you? Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you. And you? I believe we can receive the, the container about uh, after midday and maybe through p.m. we can unload. Oh, amazing. Yes, that's really, really good news. Thank you. It's easy. Okay. Easy to solve. Yeah, easy, no easy to solve. Yeah. Wonderful. Okay, awesome. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> okay, bye. Okay, bye bye. Ooh. Container is ready today. Container, Container is ready today. <laughs> I don't know if you guys just saw that, but we just got the news from the logistics company to say that Bumblebee is going to be ready to collect this afternoon. Ready to hit the road. Ah! <laughs> the day is finally arrived. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> It's now uh, 3.50 in the evening and we just got a message. Yeah, guys, if you have time now, just come over to the terminal. Your bike is ready. Yes. So the logistics company, they close at half past four. So this is really like down to the wire now. They, uh, they were waiting pretty much the whole day for the process of actually getting it out the port. So we are heading now down to the logistics company, down to the yard, and uh, we'll see how we get on. Let's go! <laughs> so we're heading to the taxi now. It's just up here. We're just about 15 minutes drive away from the terminal. The guys are actually closing at the container port. So they're closing at 4.30 and we are due to arrive at uh, 4.31. <laughs> Just on time. <laughs> this bike has been inside this container for a long time. So I don't even know what to expect when we get there. I don't know how Bumblebee's gonna look. Maybe she'll be on the ground. This is where the nerves start. Yeah, my heart, I can really feel my heart at the moment. Oh my God. I looked it up, it's been 86 days since we dropped off Bumblebee in Senegal. 86 days. And I also looked it up and it's day 180 of the round the world trip. <laughs> the traffic here in Rio de Janeiro is crazy. It's absolutely crazy. Yeah, you can't get anywhere fast. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you so much. Yeah, have a good day. Bye. Yes. We're here. Hola. 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 Yes, yes. Okay, okay. 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 Wow. Okay. Okay. Wow. I think that's the trucker that just dropped off our container because he just sort of waved at us like, oh, I know what you guys are doing. Hola. Hola. Uh, this way. <laughs> oh my god, oh. No container. Container! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I'm so happy. <laughs> I think I was never so happy to see a container in my life, really. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. It's the traffic. It's the traffic. It's just too much. It's a hobson, is it? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. <laughs> Who's the one? <laughs> Should we have a look if it's still like in one piece or if it's completely destroyed? This is it. We're opening the container. Yay! <laughs> there it is. It's still in one piece. It looks perfect. Yeah. And 
it's still standing. That's amazing. Wow. Mom, baby. <laughs> Starts. Or is, is the battery dead? Hold on. I think the battery might be dead. No. Did we unplug the battery? No. Maybe we should have unplugged the battery. Uh oh. Battery. I think maybe battery. Ah, oh, wait. Yes, it's driving. <laughs> We've driven it over to here. Uh, now we just got to load everything on and uh, get ready to go. Yes, yes. Now, the most important thing. Rio Branco. Bye bye, Cortina. <laughs> so we just got to put the rest of our stuff on and then we'll be hitting the road. Brazil. Yes! Woo! Finished. I'm sorry we take so long. Sorry, thank you so much. Thank you so much for your help. That's really kind. Thank you. Good. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Thank you. Let's do it. Wow. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Aha. One more, more. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. All right, here we go. Okay. On the road again. Okay. Whoa, look at this. Wow. How does it feel? I don't know, it's crazy to be back on the bike. <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. Hello Brazil. Oh my god. It's been 86 days since we last sat on this bike. Wow. That's insane. Yeah, it's been a long, long, long time. Now we've got to hit the streets of Rio straight away. Yes. Unbelievable. <laughs> Wish us luck. <laughs> okay. okay, so we go up here. Can we I, go down here? I don't know. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'm not 100% sure. Yeah. Maybe yeah. I have to go around like this. Hold yeah. on. Wait. Yeah, I'll go around here. Okay. Oh. oh no! <laughs> okay, cool. Oh my god. <laughs> I'm sweating buckets, man. Oh, why did they have to pick such a hot day to pick up this bike, eh? Hey? I can't believe we uh the last time we drove was in the crazy busy Dakar. Uh-huh. And now we take it out and now we're driving in the crazy busy <laughs> Rio. <laughs> yes, I know. Uh, it's crazy. Down here, yeah. Yeah, down here, yeah. Just follow this road. Okay, this is a bit nicer. This is a little bit nicer. Okay, yeah, I think back on here. Yep. 
I can see that. Centro. Centro, yes. Centro. <laughs> wow. So we've got about four miles to go until we get to our area where the hotel is and they've got a secure parking nearby the hotel that we're going to take. It's like 25 reales per day to stay there for the bike, which is like four pounds. So it's not too bad. It's a cute place for Bumblebee. I just can't believe how uh, steady they fixed the bike, man. Like the bike looked the same, really. It hasn't moved a centimeter. Even though it changed boats twice, <laughs> yeah. twice, once in Morocco, and once in Itapoa, further down the coast of Brazil. And yeah, it went so smoothly. Like the bike was not on the ground. The bike was all good. Bumblebee was healthy. Bumblebee started straight away. It's crazy. Nice. <laughs> oh, now I'm feeling a little bit more comfortable now. Yeah. Oh, that first bit was like, whoa, whoa, what's going on? Oh my God. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry, I was freaking out a little bit, but now it's feeling a little bit better. Okay, cool. You know, we're, we're, we're getting, we've got some speed. Yeah, it's going to get dark pretty soon, so I think we'll just get her to the secure parking yeah. and uh, we'll sort out some fuel tomorrow. Okay. Which one is the right one? Centro. Uh, Look. It's not, it's ah, okay, this way, yeah? Yeah. Yeah. To the, the, to the right, no? To the right, Centro. Oh, yeah. Up here, yeah? I think so. Okay, let's try I mean, it out. I'm not quite sure, but they say central there. <laughs> There's a lot of roads to choose from. Oh my goodness. Woo! Oh my god. Oh, yeah, we're getting our central. first views. Our first views of Rio on the bike. Look at this. Wow, look how beautiful Rio is. Nice. Look, the mountains around here, absolutely stunning. Yeah, it's in such a beautiful location, Rio, surrounded by the mountains. And what a beautiful time to ride it as well. Just at sunset. Oh, it's amazing. Amazing. Woo! Wow, look at this place. Look at that. Yes, pretty much all the way now straight for uh, 0.7. Yeah, perfect. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. This has been like an up and down ride. Wow, man. It's been like moments of stress and then moments of beauty and then moments of stress. I know, it's crazy, hey? Basically, this ride is like the whole trip just in yeah, five man. minutes. It's up and down. It's an up and down, really. Yeah, I think I'm just in a blur at the moment because it was just so quick. It was just like in the afternoon, just before the logistics company was about to close. He's like, right, you can come and get it. Come and get it now. And it was just like, go, 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 you know? <laughs> oh, no. It was like, go, go, go. And now it's like, whew, that's it. It still hasn't hit me that that's, that that's it for the shipping journey. That's, that's it for 86 days of stress and waiting. It's a big relief. It's a big, big relief. Yeah. Back on the road, baby! Wow. I almost couldn't imagine that we were actually going to get on the roads of Brazil. Everyone said it was impossible. Oh, it was so difficult. Everyone said it was going to be crazy. But here we are, three heart attacks later, <laughs> and we are on the bike. <laughs> More like five heart attacks later. Oh. My God. All right. Oh my god. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I remember this area here. Oh yeah? We walked here, yeah. Ah, oh, okay. Yeah, Yakisoba there around the corner. Ah, oh, okay. So we're pretty close. Yeah. Okay, it was not here. There's no turn. It was this one yeah cool and then this one yes i think it's a one way but i think it doesn't matter for five seconds 
Okay. Okay. Whee! <laughs> So this is it, this is where Bumblebee is going to spend the night. <laughs> okay, all right, we're going to take all the bags off and we're going to park it up. I love this mess. <laughs> yeah. There's chaos in the room. Yes. There's beautiful chaos. Oh, beautiful. So beautiful chaos. I love it. <laughs> so we're back at our hotel room now, carted all of this stuff which has been in the container that smells to high heaven. <laughs> we have to wash all of our motorcycle gear. You know, we've got to go through everything and do a lot of organization now, but we have done it. We made it! Happy and alive! Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> we have brought Bumblebee here into Brazil. We have driven the streets, ridden the streets of Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> We have ridden the streets of Brazil for the first time without incident. Yes, that's good, that's and, good. Uh, it's now absolutely pitch black outside. We got back just in time. And it feels already so comfortable. Like, I love riding in Brazil already. It's insane, really. It was a beautiful first ride yes. at sunset with the mm -hmm. mountains and everything. And you, yes. could, you couldn't see on camera, but you could just about see in the distance Cristo Redentor, Christ the Redeemer statue, and Sugarloaf Mountain, and all the yeah. big sites. So we actually did a little calculation and found out that the total cost that we have spent in getting Bumblebee from Senegal to Brazil is four and a half thousand pounds. Crazy stuff. I think I never ever in my life paid anything that much to anything. <laughs> it's, it's hard to even say that out loud. Yeah. It was yeah. about three and a half thousand on the Dakar side and with the actual freight cost and then about an extra thousand for all the processes we had to do here and arranging the container to be brought out of the port and everything that we had to just do basically. So we had to just keep paying our way until Bumblebee was free. Yes, yes. Uh, it is a lot of money, but on the other side, Bumblebee is here now. We can continue our journey. And I think at the end of the day, this is what we really want to do. And sometimes, it. yeah, it is worth it, yes. We have got the whole continent of South America right in front of us now. So, it's so nice. <laughs> that's beautiful to be here. So if you do want to help us out with that astronomical cost, you can order one of these t-shirts, our own designed Overland t-shirts. They are available on our Etsy store, which is the link in the description. One of the first links uh, in our video descriptions. So please, please, if you want to support the channel, you can do that, or you can make a PayPal donation, which is also in the link in the description. So if you want to support us, then check those two out. Thanks guys. Yeah, so that's it from us today. We hope you enjoyed the episode. If so, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, share the video with your friends and family, comment below. <laughs> we will see you next time.